Hey guys, this is Techmoney here and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys top 10 things that you can do with your Galaxy S5 to make it look cooler, make faster, easier to use and all the other fun stuff. Okay, for the first one we are going to enable the fingerprint that you can use. So go ahead and pull down your status bar, hit settings and then find fingerprint. So finger scanner, so um, just press finger manager So and then register your fingerprint like this. Put a password, so one, two, three, four, A. One, two, three, four, A. Okay, and we're gonna tap OK. And then we're gonna choose fingerprints. So right now there's only one fingerprint registered. Right now, it's asking me for my original one, so right here, and now we can add one. And we can add one more. Okay, so the, the three fingerprints are added, so let's go to the lock screen and see if this works. Okay, alright, and recognize. Okay, the next thing would be to set up your lock screen information. So if you somehow lose your phone and somebody finds it uh, on the lock screen, there's going to be information about you. So let's go to lock screen right here and owner information. So here I just put my name, but instead uh, you can put if found email or call whatever the number is that you want to call okay press ok alright if we go to the lock screen we can see if found call and the number that you put or whatever information that you want the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna change the settings menu so if you if you pull down the, the status bar go to settings and right now it's like really hard to find something for me but it might not be for you like you might actually like this style but you can press this three dots right here and you can actually change it so um, I like it list view but I also found a tab view so instead of like scrolling like to find quick settings connections device you can actually go through tabs and uh, the one that you like without like scrolling all the way to that one and maybe sometimes you like pass it okay the next thing we should do is we should customize the not notification bar so right now these are the quick quick notification bars like the settings right here and if we press that we get all of these but we can actually customize them and to do that you're gonna press this and then you're gonna press the pen to customize it and here you can change anything so if you like change it and if you don't like it if you want to go back press reset but you can just move around and it just switches all right and I'm just gonna press reset because I like it the way it came out of the box okay the next thing that we can do is customize the toolbox okay so the toolbox is this little icon right here that like is on your device when, whenever you're watching a video you're playing games whenever you are you can press this button and then these quick apps are gonna come up and uh, you can actually customize them so like uh, this internet browser I don't use it I use Chrome so I can put Chrome instead so the memo um, I use it but the the voice recorder I don't use it so I can replace that so to do that you're gonna go to settings and then you have to find I it's a little hard to find it because this this new menu they gave us all right right here toolbox press that all right so press edit okay and here are the apps that you can put as the toolbox okay let me choose chrome 
okay um to do that we have to in um, disable one of the apps so as I said this internet and now I'm gonna put Chrome instead of that so th there has to be like five apps I think yeah right here Chrome and then save it okay and if we go to there all right it changed so play around with that okay once we customize the toolbox we can actually customize the the multi menu so the multi menu you can enable from here it comes enabled out of the box but you can enable it and disable it from there so if some people don't like this like sticking out right here you can actually disable that so like instead of like going to the notification bar and then, like pressing it you can actually long press the the back button so like this disappears on any Samsung device so this menu some people don't like it well I, I myself don't like it because whenever I'm watching video um, this thing pops up and uh, it just it's just annoying so I just press the long long press the back button and it disappears long press and it appears alright and we can actually customize this menu by okay by pressing this tiny button and there's edit okay and here are all the apps that you can put in here so let me put what's app in here because I use it and Evernote and all these all these apps you can actually use them as uh, multi window so let me put this guy right here why did it not all right it worked okay and uh, my files right here okay so now I can use it multi window like this on the Galaxy S5 Samsung is basically Android and on Android you want NFC which is almost like Bluetooth but you if you touch the devices together the the, the, the some of the data that you choose like a picture or a song like you want to transfer to another device you can share it like that so it's really hard to find it. all right connect and share and there's NFC so turn it on it takes a little time because I've never done that before I never turned on NFC and then S beam turn it on okay now you can share files by touching the devices together if you wanna save battery turn it off so like it saves battery but if you wanna turn it on it's right here just press it it's gonna turn on okay the next thing we're gonna do is actually make the phone faster um, it's not it is already faster but Samsung has put like this animation animations like when you exit the app it does like animation so like if I if I go to my files it's there's gonna be animation so like it's gonna like pop out like kind of slowly so that like with like the animation you see how like it transforms like back like it's kind of slow right we actually we can actually decrease the the speed we have to go all the way to about device and you're gonna press the build number like seven times and then the developer mode is gonna turn on so build number press it like a lot of times and then it's gonna say developer options is enabled and these men this menu is gonna pop up but some of them some of the devices out of the box is not gonna have developer options so that's why I said like to press the the uh, build number like seven times so go ahead and go into developer options press ok and then go down to window animation scale so now so if the the more it is the the, the slower the animation is gonna be so you can actually turn the animation off but I, I, I want the animation but I don't want it to be extra slow so I'm gonna put it on 0.5 on all of them 0.5 right here 0.5 so like the three of these 0.5 and then like 
now you can feel like the speed like all right so i'm gonna press the home button and it's gonna like disappear instead of like being like slow animation did you see that fast opening see you now like now we can like open it fast like close it fast so now we made the device fa look faster by opening the apps and then like going back um, there's one more thing that makes your phone faster so if you double tap out of the box the S voice comes up and it's like really annoying like I don't like it All right. so um, when I'm in the app if I double I mean if I press it like one time um, it goes to menu if I double press it it goes to S voice so the thing is when you press it one time the phone actually waits for you to press it two times so that like it it wastes time so like if I press it the phone like waited for me to press the S voice to double tap it and then this shows up okay we actually have to disable it so like whenever I, I press the home button it goes to the home but home screen faster so go to S voice you can actually find it in settings too so go press settings okay and we're gonna disable uncheck the open via the home key right here okay now if we press the home key it goes straight to the home key without waiting for the s voice to come up okay the next thing we should do with the galaxy s5 with its new power saving modes there are two power saving modes, one ultra power saving mode and one the normal power saving mode that actually comes with almost every Galaxy device. In the notification bar you can find the ultra power saving mode and also the power saving like the normal one. Um, so let's long press it and then let's enable this. Uh, we're gonna check this thing. So like it. Uh, it saves battery from the background and then we're gonna restrict performance so check that all and then turn that on and then uh, there's one more thing with the grayscale you can save much more battery than just enabling the power saving mode so we're gonna enable that so here we go the normal like the standard power saving mode that comes with every Samsung device, but they added some more stuff into it to make it look um, more power saving. So since we looked at normal power saving mode, we're gonna go and look at the ultra power saving mode. We're gonna long press that, so it come you you cannot customize it. Um, there are actually three apps that you can add yourself. So let's turn that on to see. Okay, I have 21% battery. And I can use my phone for 2.6 days without charging it. That's amazing for a phone like this that's, that is powerful. Okay, it takes some time to turn it on because it actually uh, restricts the data from the background. So, uh, yeah. Now, you're, right now I added three apps to this. I'm going to remove them right now. Um, and show you like how to add apps so when you get your device and you're gonna turn on ultra power saving mode there are gonna be three plus signs so you can actually uh, add three applications of your choice right here I like whatsapp and uh, memo and also of course the clock all the other applications that were in the choices they're not gonna work so these are the apps that are gonna work you can actually go and turn off ultra power saving mode but there's actually more to show and from here you can um, turn on the Wi-Fi and you can actually turn on mobile data and yeah so it's amazing how they added internet connection into this so uh, like we can still use our internet connection we can go to Google Maps, we can use our GPS, and we can also chat on WhatsApp, and we can call, and we can text.
So go ahead and turn the ultra power saving mode off. 